Thank you. Well, we've already had to deal with temperatures that are well above normal. That's right. right. And the heat means a big Golden Knights watch party will be inside in the air conditioning. 13 Action News sports reporter Ross Lippman is live outside T-Mobile Arena braving the heat. I hope you're hanging in there, Ross. <laughs> Yeah, well, Trisha and Todd, it does turn out that there is comfort in the shade. And as Brian mentioned, that breeze is coming in outside of T-Mobile Arena, where the final fans are making their way inside for one of two watch parties tonight. But we want to show you on our infrared thermometer just how hot it is on the surface level. Right now, we're reading in the 110, 111 range. Regardless where you're watching the game tonight, the number one priority is to stay safe. In triple digit temps. I'm going to point it down on the ground. How hot do you think it is? It can be hard. It's counting. 114. To beat the heat. But what happens when the biggest event of the day, the watch parties for the Golden Knights, takes place during the hottest hours? As you know, we've got a team that's been in place for a number of years here that are pretty active as far as watching, watching out for people. Derek Stevens says the downtown Las Vegas Event Center is designed to withstand soaring summer temps. You know, we've got the misters and we've got the, we're going to have cool zones out here tonight. And then we've got a pretty active staff of security that's, you know, going to be very active, making sure everyone, everyone, uh, everyone's in, um, in good shape. As for T-Mobile Arena, getting inside the air conditioning is your best bet, but in order to do that, fans have to wait in line a long time. We wanted to get here early enough to get in and get a seat, but um, we knew that the sun was going to be a hindrance to that. My family's waiting in the garage there for another half an hour before they come out, because we were worried about that too, so I thought I'd come out and get the spot and let them relax in the air condition. <laughs> Selfless man right there. By our count, several thousand inside T-Mobile Arena. The longest wait for those that were at the front of the line, probably just a little more than an hour, and they were in the shade the most of the time. Many fortunate to avoid the heat as they are now inside, cooled by not only the air conditioning, but the ice. The rink's there. It's fresh, ready to be skated on. Nice and cool inside the arena. Live outside T-Mobile Arena, Ross Lippman, 13 Action News.